Now this video is probably going to be slightly out of sequence. I think this will probably go up as a time of day 70 and a half. Trying out the new microphone just to see how echoey it is in this room. I fear it is very echoey. So I need to get some egg boxes or foam or something just to kind of absorb some of the... It's a small room. If you imagine a cardboard box that you might ship an item, a small item from Amazon to. If you imagine that but maybe scaled up half as much, that's kind of the room I'm recording in. This, the office room is tiny. Apparently this this is a bedroom as well, technically, but God only knows how you... Anyway, yes, well, enough complaining. I actually wanted to record this video because three reasons. Firstly, look, it's Panzer 3 4. Isn't that exciting? No, it's not that exciting. I'm still trying to get scripts of this tank. I keep going, oh, well, it's probably a sniping sort of tank. You know? It's not that far. I mean, 55 is pretty respectable for a medium tank, I guess, at tier 5. But it's not that fast for a medium, honestly. And But then I've noticed the, the view range on it is, is awful. Just... So, as ever, it'll, there'll be a string of videos where I'm trying to work out what it is I need to do with this vehicle. What this tank is actually for. Oh, oh god, like Anyway, <clears throat> yes, the main reason I wanted to record this video, apart from the tank, was to say hello to new subscribers. Hello! And say thank you to them. Thank you! And also to say, um... Thank you to Nashua for Origami Octopus, as I believe he goes by on YouTube and probably Reddit as well. Yesterday, he poked me on Steam and said, Oh, I posted one of your... I posted, I think, a link to your channel on Reddit. Um, I thought you would like some new, some new viewers. Some more viewers, obviously. I don't have many viewers, and that's fine, really. So, yeah, I would just really like to say... Thank you, Tim. So, thank you, Nash, for all regarding Octopus. Just going to hide in this bush for a moment. That's one that bush is for you, Nash. Um, Nash was a really good person, I'll be honest. He's one of those people that um, my brother found while playing Dota. And you know your Dota is not a game where nice where you generally encounter nice people. But Nash is genuinely a good a good guy. Um, I visited him. Well, he's visited the UK a few times and we've met up. And oh, crumbs, crumbs. And yeah, he's he's a really nice guy. So thank you very much, Nashua. Um, thanks for being my friend. You're, you're a great guy. Thank you. Um, now, if you could see fit to save me from my own stupid mistakes, that that would be great too. Ooh, this is... Why am I over here? <laughs> Mistakes were made. Okay, so what went wrong? Well, I'm starting to get the impression that on Lakeville, medium tanks, especially not the Panzer 3-4, 3-4, they shouldn't go to the city. I... I think, honestly, this guy here, Panzer 4H, has the right idea. Just just hang back a little, let the heavies go in first. I don't feel like the, the Panzer 3 or 4 is like, fast enough to make a play down the middle. Everyone that I see that goes down the middle at the start basically just gets shot by everyone on sort of the, the other side of the lake. That seems to be how that goes. Now there's a good push on the left hand side in the valley but we've kind of given up he's just stuck buried his turret and his gun in a rock that's what is that, is that normal? no damn the Panzer 4H is a good looking tank anyway enough enough of the tank pornography so what I need to remember to do next time is play around the other people on my team. I don't have to be necessarily the first person to go through. I don't have to be the guy at the front, especially when I'm not in a tank that's good for it. Now I should probably try and 
get a new heavy tank to play. Because the heavy tank that I play the most is actually probably the KV2, and that is a corner kind of case. Hey. Why is it with Japanese? I should get Japanese heavy tanks. Every time I see this thing, I'm like, look at that. That's so weird. So I think this game is probably a loss, but hopefully I can take the lessons that I've learned from this, i.e. pay attention to the minimap mark, look where your team is, play around them. You don't have to be the hero. You don't have to be the hero.